This is a simple story of vengeance. The defendant's personal and professional lives had come apart. He told everyone in earshot Lieutenant Rodriguez was to blame. Then he sought out his victim and he shot him in an alcohol-induced rage. You don't need anything more to convict, ladies and gentlemen, but you have more. 18 months of frivolous investigations that failed to yield results. And years of smoldering resentment. And the damning testimonies of six witnesses, including the defendant's own co-workers. What testimony does the defendant offer? A career criminal the lieutenant had put away twice. A cop who contradicted that criminal and the defendant's own self-serving statements. But the defendant asks you to believe the unbelievable, that the lieutenant would risk everything to kill a discredited man whose bogus investigations were, at worst, a nuisance. That a drunk drew his pistol and fired before a sober man unholstered his weapon. On that day, Captain Fraker, a drunk, disgraced adulterer walked into Lieutenant Rodriguez's office and unprovoked shot him. I ask you to find Captain Fraker guilty. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Let's look at the prosecution's vaunted witnesses. Detectives in Tony Rodriguez's own command. A doctor who was sleeping with one of those detectives. An underling bucking for a promotion. And an angry ex-girlfriend. The prosecution has not offered you a single unbiased witness. Not one. So forget the witnesses. Because only two men know what really happened in that office. Captain Fraker had been coming for Tony Rodriguez. Five investigations in 18 months. The latest concerning serious charges that have never been refuted. You don't think Tony Rodriguez wanted to be rid of the captain? You bet he did. And whether these two men disliked each other and for whatever reason is irrelevant to the only facts that matter. It all comes down to who you want to believe. A cop who's been the target of investigations involving corruption and excessive force, or a cop who has spent his entire career protecting our city, fighting corruption, and rooting out cops who use excessive force. Remember your job, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. If you have any reasonable doubt about the prosecution's case, you must find Captain Fraker not guilty.